All right, so we are back. The uh, we were working on number forty-five. The uh, camera, the phone that I'm using, actually cut off, so I had to stop that video. But uh, we're going to continue. We just found the probability that all were defective. Now we need to find the probability that uh, none are defective. All right, so let's see. Just to back up for a second. Um, we got a box of 14 transistors, three are defective. Uh, we're gonna choose three at random, find the probability that none are defective. So uh, what I have to do for this one is I have to throw away the defective uh, transistors first. So I've got the three defective transistors. So if I throw those away, I have 11. So now I have 11 to choose from. So 11 transistors choose three is what I do here. 11 choose three. This is my, uh, this is my numerator. And this will be my numerator. My denominator is still uh, 364 from earlier. So the probability that None defective is 165 divided by 364. And I don't think that's going to reduce. Uh, you can double check it, but that's going to be it. Okay, so that's number 45. Uh, let's see, I went ahead and late answered C earlier, number 46, um, which of the following doesn't determine whether it makes sense or not, C is the answer here. And then 47, you can see I started that one as well, we'll go ahead and finish it. Um, so here's what we're going to do, we're going to make a three digit number. So a three-digit number. Um, and we're only using the digits two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, we can't repeat digits. Find the probability that the number we create is even and greater than 900. All right, so step one is I have to find, find all possible numbers and three digit numbers for um, these digits. Okay, the digits, uh, in case you can't read it well, because I scribbled three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I wanna make a three digit number. This is a permutation question. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight total digits, eight possible digits. And I'm going to choose three of those to make a number. I'm going to show you two different ways I could do this. Um, I could do, I have eight possibilities for my first digit. Okay. Once I've chosen my first digit, which would probably be nine, uh, I have seven left for that and then six left for the third. So I have a total of eight times seven times six, which is 336. Here the order matters because uh, 942 is different than 924. So this is permutation. Um, I did it using blanks right there. You could do 8P3 to get that 336 as well. Okay. I'm just double checking that. Now that's our denominator. This is our denominator for our um, 
of either of these, same thing, for our problem. Now the question is, find the probability that the three digit number is greater than 900. So now for my numerator, uh, if I go back to this question, I go back to this question, um, it says that the number has to be even and greater than 900. So if it has to be greater than 900, that means the first digit has to be nine. And then if it's even, then that means that I can only use two, four, six, or eight. Two, four, six, or eight. What I've done is this is telling me what my options are down here, and then I'll put how many options I have up here. So one option if it needs to be bigger than 900. If it's even, it needs, I have four options. And then the tricky thing is what do we put here? Well, if I were to say eight minus five and put three, that's not really right because I haven't put four numbers here, I've only chosen one of the numbers. Maybe I put an eight there. If I put an eight there, I still have two, four, six, three, five, seven left. So I still have, I think, six numbers. Two, four, six. I have, if I were to choose eight, I had two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, because I've chosen eight. Okay, so I have six. That's 24. My, that's my numerator. Numerator. Um, so the probability of, you know, bigger than 900. And even is 24 over 336. And that will reduce to 1 over 14. Number 48. The table shows the distribution by age of random sample of 3920 moviegoers, ages 12 to 74. So these are their ages. Um, if one moviegoer is randomly selected, find the probability uh, that the moviegoer is not 12 to 24. Okay. So there's a two ways you could work this, okay? I'm gonna show you first what I think many of you will think to do. Um, if I were to say not 12 to 24, then I'm just gonna add up the rest of these. So my numerator, numerator for the probability is everything else, 960 plus 990 plus 960 again. So 960 plus 990 plus 960, 2910. Um, the denominator is the total. They tell me the total right there. That's my denominator. Denominator is 2910. Oh, I don't know why I wrote 2910 again. My denominator is 3920. So the probability that they are not 12 to 24 is 2910 over 3920. And of course that will probably reduce, oh, it reduces by 10 for sure. 291 over 392. But that's as far as it goes. Okay. Now that's what many of you will probably choose to do because that's straightforward. What they want you to do here is to realize that the probability of um, 
not 12 to 24 is equal to the probability of 1 minus the probability of 12 to 24. So this may be, this might be how some of you choose to do this. So 12 to 24 is 10, 10 over my total, which is 39, 20. So if I type that in, um, I'm going to do it all at once. One minus parentheses 10 over 10, uh, 10, 10 divided by 39, 20. I'm going to get a decimal, but I do second PRB and then I get 291 over 392. So that is, that is what they wanted you to do, but I could have just done that. And it took me about the same amount of time for each. All right. So we'll probably get through 49, maybe 50, and then we'll stop this video. 49, 49. You're a dealt a card from 52. Find the probability that the card is a jack or a black card. So. Probability of a jack or black. Okay. Now on the test, you can't use your deck of cards. So I'll have to think through this differently. Um, you, you can do this two different ways. Um, first, I should mention that these are not mutually exclusive because there's overlap. The overlap is the two black jack cards, the two, the jack of clubs and the jack of spades. So I think I'm going to work this using the formula, the, um, uh, probability of or using not mutually exclusive, which would be the probability of a jack plus the probability of a black card minus the probability of a jack and black. Okay, so the probability of a jack, there are four jacks in the deck. The probability of a black card, well, half the deck is black, so that's 26 over 52. And then the overlap that I mentioned here is the jack of clubs and the jack of spades. So the probability of jack and black, um, there's two of them, so that's what I have. So, 4 plus 26 minus 2. I'm doing this by hand. I could type it all in the calculator, but I get a 28 over 52. We may have done that exact problem in the notes, but with different, um, with different things like diamonds or hearts or something. So, 7 thirteenths. So let's look at number 50. It's, number 50 is very similar to this uh, one we just did. Number 50, and then we'll stop the video there. I think after that we have 14 or 15 more problems. I think we'll stop it there. Okay, uh, the math department at a college has 14 male professors. 12 female professors, 15 male TAs, and five female TAs. If a person selected randomly from the group, uh, find the probability uh, TA or female. Okay, question I need to ask, is it mutually exclusive or not? Meaning, are there any 
female TAs in this group? Uh, oh, there they are, five female TAs. So since there are some things that are both TA or female, that means this is not mutually exclusive, which means I'm gonna use the formula I just used in the previous, PTA plus PF minus the probability of TA and female. Probability of a TA. So I might have to do a little bit of work on the side here. The probability of a TA, well, there's 15 male TAs and five female TAs. So I'm gonna add all of those up. So total TA is five, uh, 15 plus five, which is 20. Now, that's just the top part. I need to know the total number of faculty. Total faculty. Okay, there's 14 male professors, 12 female professors, plus 15 male TAs, and then the five female TAs. 6, the uh, 14 plus 12, plus 15 plus five, I get a 46 total, that's my denominator. Okay, the probability of a female, so how many total female uh, faculty do we have? Total female, we have 12 female professors, and we have the five female TAs, so we have 17. So you may see why I have to do the, subtract off the probability of the female TAs. And the reason why is I just added those female TAs here and uh, here. Okay, total TAs, total female. So I added that particular five twice. Now, to make things right, I have to throw away one of those fives because I counted it twice. So 20 plus 17 minus 5 over 46. Uh, let's do some. So the, not, the top is 20 plus 17 minus 5. It's 32 over 46. Um, I can divide these by two, that's 23 on bottom, 16 there. All right, so we will stop this video there, uh, and then I'll continue on 4.1.